Prime Minister Modi ji felt that we must have a museum of Prime Ministers. I think that was a great idea and he gave that responsibility to Nehru Memorial Museum Library. The name of the institution also had to reflect that new role and responsibility that uh, the institution has. That is how the change of name has occurred. It's just a matter of coincidence that it has come uh, on the eve of our Independence Day. Please come and take a look at the Nehru Museum today. You will get an idea of how we view Jawaharlal Nehru. The whole idea is to acknowledge, honor and celebrate the work of all our Prime Ministers. Bahut kaam ki hai hamara Pradhan Mantri, sab Pradhan Mantri. Why name is needed to change? Okay, the thing is uh, that the uh, Prime Minister Modi ji felt that we must have a museum of Prime Ministers. Then the question arose as to where it could be located. The Prime Minister gave this responsibility to what was earlier known as Nehru Memorial Museum, NMML. The reason is that we have a 28 acre estate there. So you have the um, Teen Murthy Bhavan. That was the residence of Pandit Ji, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And behind it and around it, there is a lot of uh, space available. And that is the ideal location because we already have the Nehru Museum there. And the idea was to showcase the work of all Prime Ministers of India. I think that was a great idea. And he gave that responsibility to Nehru Memorial Museum Library. And I think we are very privileged and honored to take up that responsibility. So this began some years ago. And uh, last year, <coughs> the Prime Minister inaugurated uh, the Pradhan Mantri Sangrahalaya. That's the Museum of Prime Ministers, where we have showcased the work of all Prime Ministers. So that is the background. Now, once the remit of uh, Nehru Memorial Museum and Library changed, it got diversified. And in a sense, it got democratized then naturally the name of the institution also had to reflect that new role and responsibility that uh, the institution has. That is how the change of name has occurred. But uh, <coughs> political question, Day on 14 hmm. August, why the day chosen on 14th August to announce this thing? That is, that is a matter of just coincidence because what happened was the first initiative to change the name was taken on 15th June when the general body of the society was called. And Rajnath Singh Ji, who is the vice president of society, and the prime minister is the president of society, Rajnath Singh Ji presided over that meeting. Now, under the law, if we want to change the name of a society, the general body has to meet twice after a gap of a month. So, it met again on 18th July and reiterated the change of name. Then it went to the Registrar of Societies. This is a process. Some days ago, we got the uh, clearance from the Registrar of Societies. It's just a matter of coincidence that it has come uh, on the eve of our Independence Day. But Congress, <coughs> he said that from today an iconic institution gets a new name, the world-renowned Nehru Museum and Library <coughs> becomes the Prime Minister Memorial Museum and Library. And Mr. Modi poses a huge bundle of mm. fear, complex insecurity. And he also alleged that uh, the single agenda of the government, Prime Minister Modi, is denying, distorting, defaming, destroying the Nehru and... You know, I would not like to take a political question, but I will respond in terms of the of what the Nehru Memorial Museum Library, which is now Prime Minister's Museum and Library, has done. If you have seen the Nehru Museum earlier, you will get an idea of how the Nehru Gandhi family, which was in charge of that institution for long years, how they had set up that museum, if you just were to reflect on that, I would say that it would give you an idea of what kind of thinking they had in terms of projecting 
Nehru ji. If you come now to the Nehru Memorial Museum and Library, you will look at the Tinmurti Bhavan, how we have showcased Nehru, his uh, temples of modern India, uh, the Hirakud Dam, Nagarjun Sagar Dam, his idea of setting up institutes of technology, planning commission. In his 17 year tenure as Prime Minister, the phenomenal work he did in various aspects of this nation's life. It is all showcased now. I would request anyone who has any uh, doubts about uh, how we have handled the whole Nehru question. I would request them to please come and take a look at the Nehru Museum today. You will get an idea of how we view Jawaharlal Nehru and we are very proud uh, that uh, of uh, that legacy and Nehruji's contribution and we have done everything possible to showcase that to the people. What is the reason behind the hmm. Prime Minister Museum and Library thinking? Hmm. In regard to the museum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, the whole idea is to acknowledge, honour and celebrate the work of all our Prime Ministers, whether it was Deva Gauda ji or Indra Gujral, Jo Das Gyaramayne Pradhan Mantri Te, or Nehru ji who had a tenure of 17 years, Indra Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi, P. V. Narasimha Rao, whoever. The idea is to showcase the work they have done, their contribution towards uh, governance and building this country. And uh, a lot of effort has gone into that uh, to ensure a certain balance in presentation as far as all Prime Ministers are concerned. Actually, this is the greatest triumph of democracy. Democracy bole to ye vividhata ko saath saath hum le jana chahiye. Usse santushht rehna chahiye. तो वो नेशनल लीडरशिप में हमको देखने को मिलता है वो लोगों के सामने हम पेश करना चाहिए बहुत काम किए हमारा प्रधानमंत्री सब प्रधानमंत्री